Hi friends, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kat. Today I wanted to share with you guys all of the ways that I am personally planning on enjoying and celebrating fall this year. If you guys have been following me for a little while now, then you know that I am currently pregnant and baby is going to be here in just a few months which means that this fall is going to look a little bit different for me than it normally does because normally I would love to get out of the house, go take some trips, drive to like a pumpkin patch, pick pumpkins or apples and do all of the things but this year with being pregnant I just want to set more realistic expectations for myself and I do still have a few of those day trips planned just on a much smaller scale but instead of doing all of those fun activities outside side of the house. This year I'm going to be focusing a lot more on doing a lot of those fun activities inside. So I do have a few different categories of what I will be sharing. The first category is going to be all of the books that I plan on reading this season. The next one is going to be TV shows and movies. Then I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite fall recipes or ones that I'm really excited to try. And then last but not least I'm going to be sharing all of the fun activities that I want to do from home <laughs> to make my fall more enjoyable. Okay, so first up is books. The first two books that I have to share with you guys are ones that I've actually already read and I want to recommend to you because they are that amazing and I love them so much. Um, I won't actually be rereading them this season, but if you need a good book recommendation, I would definitely check these out. So the first book I have to share with you guys is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. This is the first book in a series. I believe there are four books and a novella. It is completely finished, so if you're interested, don't let that deter you. But this was actually the book series that got me back into reading a few years back. I just really love the atmosphere of this book. I think it's perfect for like the turn of the season here leading into fall. Um, and yeah, definitely pick it up if you have not read this yet. The next book I have to show you guys is actually one of my all-time favorites from my childhood. This is a middle grade book series called The Land of Elyon. The first one here is called The Dark Hills Divide. But this has just stuck with me for such a long time. I love this series to bits. And again, this is another one that's good for like the turn of the season leading into fall. Our main character spends a ton of time in the library. There are library cats. There are hidden passages and magical creatures and yeah it's just I love it. Okay moving on to the books that I'm actually planning on reading this season. The first one here is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I know her second book in this series is coming out soon but basically all I know about this book is that it's set at Yale at the beginning of the school year. There's a magical secret society, lots of murders going on. So this sounds like the perfect like dark academia vibe and I'm so excited to pick it up. The next book I'm planning on reading is Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. This is obviously such a well loved book about a witch family and that's honestly really all I know about this book. I haven't seen the movie. I think it's a movie not a it's a movie right not a tv show i don't even know um but i've never read this before i don't really know much about it but i have it and i really want to pick this up this season i feel like it will be the perfect fall read next up one of the books that i really want to get to this season preferably sooner rather than later is outlander by diana gabaldon i have watched the show i love the show and i feel like the book series with it being set in scotland will just really give like that early fall vibe. That's what I'm hoping for at least. <laughs> so this is one of the books again that I'm gonna be picking up relatively soon. Um, and we'll see how far I get with the series. I have the first four, but I definitely want to get to book one. So the next book on my list for this season is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is another one that's been turned into a TV show. I have not watched the show. Um, I don't really know much about this series other than it's basically a witch vampire romance with a lot of like historical elements which sounds like a lot of weird things going on to me but I've heard really amazing things about this and I just think it sounds really good. Okay so the last book on my list so far for fall is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. I love a good murder mystery. I don't typically read a lot of them though just because I don't love horror and I don't always love thriller. But I feel like this is a good just like murder like whodunit murder mystery. If you haven't heard anything about this book, I will read the back here really quickly just because it sounds so intriguing. Evelyn Hardcastle will die every day until Aiden Bishop can identify her killer and break the cycle. But every time the day begins again, Aiden wakes up in the body of a different guest. 
and some of his hosts are more helpful than others. So there's like an interesting like supernatural element to this which I find really intriguing um, as well as the murder mystery component to it. So I am just very excited for this. I'll probably hold off on this one until October just because it's got a little bit more of those like spooky murder vibes. <laughs> yeah that's the last book on my TBR for this fall at least for now. We'll see how far I get with those and then I'm sure we'll add in a few other books here and there. All right, so the next category I have to share with you guys are all of the TV shows and movies that I'm planning on watching this fall. Normally I'm not like a huge TV movie person, but in the fall time especially, I do like to at least watch some of my favorite classics. And then especially this year with Baby coming, I know I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands where I just want to, you know, have something easy to do. So I feel like I am going to wind up watching quite a few TV shows later in the season. So I wanted to compile a list of shows that I'm excited to watch and share those with you guys. So the first show on my list is BBC Sherlock. I watched this entire show as it was airing like oh my gosh 10 years ago now was that and I absolutely loved it it was one of my favorite shows at the time so I would love to rewatch that now so far from all of like the different Sherlock adaptations that one is definitely my favorite I love the spooky like murder vibes of it so definitely more of like an October Halloween type show for me personally um, but that's what I'm really looking forward to. Next up I do have Outlander on my list. I am almost caught up with all of the seasons however I have a feeling after reading the first book in the Outlander series that I'm gonna want to go back and re-watch the show from the beginning. We'll see if that happens but I am at least excited to finish up the most recent season. Next up is a classic and that is Hocus Pocus. Um, I actually didn't watch this for the first time until like two years ago. I just grew up, you know, not really watching a ton of movies and every time like it was brought up, if I was out with friends and we were watching a movie and that was like an option, you know, everyone always said like, oh, we watched it a million times. We don't want to watch that. We'll watch something like new and different. So I just never wound up watching that growing up. But I know Hocus Pocus 2 is actually coming out this fall as well. So I'm really excited to rewatch the first one and then watch the second one. Maybe have a little movie marathon with that. That would be so fun. Next up is another classic that I'm hoping to rewatch and that is Clue the movie. I've actually only seen this once and I loved it and I think that would be the perfect movie for a fun little movie night so I have that on my list and I'm really excited to watch that one as well. Next up is Gilmore Girls. This has been on my list for a while now and I am almost nervous to say that I have literally never seen Gilmore Girls before but with it becoming so much more popular again recently and I think it's on Netflix now too I just figured now is like the perfect time for me to watch it and I feel like it's a pretty good fall show from what I've heard so yeah that one's definitely very high on my list to watch this season and then the last two I have on my list are A Discovery of Witches and Practical Magic which I think both of those would be really fun to watch right after I read books and that is my list so far for the things I'm planning on watching like I said I'm not a huge like movie or show person so if you have any like good fall recommendations please leave them down below because I know I'm going to need them next category I have to share with you guys is recipes I personally love cooking and baking especially in the fall and winter time and I will have these recipes linked down below for you guys if you're interested in checking any of these out but the first recipe that I absolutely love making I honestly make this one like year-round if I'm being completely honest um, but that is cinnamon oatmeal pancakes I freaking love this um, it's been like a staple recipe in our family for like years and years and it is seriously the easiest thing to make you can just take your regular boxed pancake mix and add like a half a cup to a cup of oats depending on how much you're making and then like a teaspoon all the way up to a tablespoon of cinnamon depending on how strong you want it um, it's honestly something that I eyeball every single time so it's never like an exact measurement but that just takes the pancakes to a whole new level and it's amazing. Next up is something that I'm so excited to try to recreate this season and that is a caramel apple spice which if you don't know is one of the less popular Starbucks fall drinks. Essentially it is just sweetened hot apple cider with whipped cream on top and caramel drizzle. Absolutely amazing. Uh, one of my favorite things to get that's not caffeinated and yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying to recreate that at home. I feel like it should be pretty simple, but we'll see. Next up is my 
favorite go-to dinner recipe during the fall time and that is butternut squash ravioli with a sage cream sauce. This is absolutely amazing. I do lots of different variations of it. Sometimes I'll use like tortellini and I'll have like chopped butternut squash mixed in with like spinach, but definitely one of my go-to favorite fall recipes. It's absolutely amazing. If you haven't had butternut squash ravioli before, try it out. It's so good. And the last recipe that I'm very excited to make this fall is apple crisp. This one is a bit nostalgic for me. My grandma used to make it all the time while I was living with them. Every time someone would come over to her house, she would whip up this apple crisp. It took her like 10 minutes and then just like in the oven for, I don't know, like half an hour or so. So I'm really excited to try to cre recreate something similar to hers. That's just like a staple recipe to have for when people come over to our house. And the last category I have to share with you guys are all of the fun fall activities that I have planned for myself for this fall. These are definitely the ones that I am most excited for. I feel like these are the ones that are really gonna get me in the fall mood. Obviously there are things like lighting fall candles and wearing a comfy sweater or like having a cozy blanket or something. I'm not gonna include those in this list just because I feel like those are really obvious. These ones I'm trying to kind of think a little bit outside the box on the ones that you maybe haven't heard before or just might be nice to kind of like level up your fall experience. So the first thing on my list is to pick up a new journal and start a new journaling hobby. This could be just picking up a blank journal and just writing down your day to day. It could be a guided journal, whether that be like a goal setting or motivational journal or one of those like daily Q&A journals, those seem really fun. Um, it could be bullet journaling. The journaling habit that I just picked up this month that I'm hoping to continue forever um, is memory planning, which I've had so much fun with this past month and I'm so excited to continue. I do have a whole video on how I set up my memory planner if you guys wanna watch that down below. But basically what I'm doing is scrapbooking inside of a planner. So I print out some of the pictures that I've taken that week. I paste those into the planner, do some journaling, add in a bunch of of like fun stickers and washi tape and I have like a pretty documentation of what my week looked like that week and I do that every week but that has been really really fun for me and I'm so excited to start on my fall spreads I just ugh, I can't wait for all of like the fun fall stickers but that is my first activity to share with you guys the second activity I have to share with you guys is a super simple one you could do it literally whenever my recommendation though would be waiting for one of those perfect crisp sunny days to do this and that is just opening up every single window in your house opening up your doors if you have like screen doors um, and just letting the air into your house i know personally we keep the house pretty locked up during the summer just because it gets really hot and humid we have the air conditioning running and we don't like having our house being super warm. So there's not really a good opportunity for us in the summertime to open everything up. But I know this fall especially, I really, really wanna take the opportunity to just air out the house completely. And I feel like just bringing the fall air in, especially if you're someone like me who's not gonna be going out a ton, it's a really great way to kind of experience being outside in the fall without actually going out into the world. The next activity that I have for you guys is one that I have been implementing the last few weeks. I have been absolutely loving it. And that is playing your favorite fall playlist, but on a record player. So I know record players have been really, really popular lately. And a lot of the newer ones do have the option for Bluetooth. And if you have one and you have the Bluetooth option, I don't know why I didn't start doing this the second that I got my record player. But while I am cooking or while I'm cleaning the house, I will just pull up my favorite fall Spotify playlist or like a Taylor Swift album or something and have that playing from the record player. Not only is it nice to just have a playlist playing from like an actual speaker system in your house as opposed to like your phone the speaker isn't necessarily the best quality but having like that record player speaker it just takes it to the next level in my opinion um, and I love it next up is picking out a new fall themed cookbook personally I am really really into cookbooks I love cookbooks I do need to be better about using the cookbooks that I buy but I do love a good cookbook and this year I did pick up a new one for myself that I feel like is very much 
like a fall cookbook and that is the half-baked harvest this is the everyday edition and I have already I don't know if you can tell but I've already tabbed some of the recipes that I really want to try um, which is a recommendation I have for you for your cookbooks is to just tab all of the ones that you want to try or the ones you want to keep track of and go back to but I actually haven't cooked anything from this yet I just got it like a few weeks ago but I really am so excited to try some of these out let me just flip to some of my favorites here okay so this is the one on the cover it's sweet potato pierogies and this just looks absolutely amazing here's another perfect one for fall and that is the shredded brussels sprout salad so there's apples it looks like pomegranate seeds brussels sprouts but yeah this just looks amazing so i'm so excited to pick out a few recipes from here to try out this fall all right next up on my list of activities is to have a fall bonfire i feel like normally bonfires are like just for summer i haven't really had too many fall bonfires in my life um but i feel like having a fall bonfire and making apple pie pudgy pies would be so much fun if you guys don't know what pudgy pies are they're basically like you buy like what's called a pie iron you put two pieces of sandwich bread in either side and then whatever filling you want so you could do like pizza pudgy pies so with like tomato sauce and cheese and pepperoni or something um or you could do apple pie ones where you buy like apple pie filling and you put that between the two sandwich breads um you could do literally whatever you want and then they like sandwich the bread together and you put it over the bonfire and it makes like the most amazing bonfire dinner dessert snack whatever and i just feel like a bonfire with a cozy blanket with your apple pie pudgy pie would just be such a fun evening so hopefully i can get around to convincing some people to do that with me this fall that would be so much fun okay and last but not least the last activity that i am really really hoping to be able to do this fall is what i'm calling the ultimate fall self-care day and that basically is just doing fall things all day long so I want to wait to do this until one of those really really perfect gloomy rainy fall days I feel like that would be such a fun time and then basically just spend the whole day doing every little fall activity that I can think of so I would start the day with making cinnamon oatmeal pancakes or maybe like apple cider donuts or something and then I would read my fall books throughout the day I would take a bubble bath with like a fall scented bath bomb obviously light all of my candles I could do a movie marathon in the evening I could give myself like a fall themed manicure I think that would be so fun to try to do like little nail art designs and then make like a pumpkin pizza like a pizza shaped like a pumpkin that would be so fun so i think that might be the one activity i'm most excited for is just combining all of the things that i could possibly do into one day to make like the dream fall day alrighty guys well that is everything i have to share with you for what i'm planning to do this fall i am now super excited to get things rolling i'm really hoping the weather starts to change soon because it has been like in the 80s this whole past week and that is just way too hot for me i need like 70s 60s 50s that'd be great and then we can really get this fall ball rolling please leave any of your own recommendations down below in the comments i would love to be able to add to my list whether that be tv shows or books or any activities or your favorite fall recipe that would be amazing i would love to try those out but with that i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye